All right, I'm here with Franklin Howard from Syracuse University, basketball star. Uh, Franklin, I've known you since high school. It's amazing that we've known each other so long. Tell me right. a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about your, your high school career and your, and your college career. Uh, you know, I'm a kid who grew up in Suitland, Maryland. Uh, went to school out Fairfax, Virginia, about four to six. Uh, I think I met you around was freshman year, around end of, toward the end of my freshman year, going into uh, sophomore year, or maybe a little after that, and then uh, with my ACL injury. And then, uh, you know, we had a great relationship this whole time, and ever since then. So, when did you first realize you were an elite athlete? Elite, I would say seventh, seventh, eighth grade. Going into seventh, eighth grade, playing, uh, starting to travel more with basketball, and seeing other players around, and kind of comparing myself. That's you know, I, I, I knew I was a you know, high school special. Okay, so I hate to bring up uh, old memories, but tell me about the ACL. How did it happen? Mm -hmm. um, did you ever have any warning signs? Did you know you had knee problems prior to that, or was it completely out of the out of the blue? Uh, yeah, I, I tore my ACL the summer. Uh, my going into my junior year, so I think I was around 2016, 15, 16, and uh, we were in a tournament at Peace Jam uh, in Georgia. And uh, I did, I, 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 bought, I had some knee troubles going into that prior to about a month or two. And, uh, you know, I, I had a, a bum ankle on that same, same ankle from the same leg going into the, the tournament. And, uh, you know, I had a, I had a not, not even a freak play, but just kind of a regular play where, you know, my leg got caught up and uh, it tore. And so you came to see us, started working with uh, myself, with Lynn Stewart, our exceptional PT. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me um, a little bit about the process. What do we do and, and how do we get you from there back to back to playing? Yeah, I, this is the, definitely the best facility, you know, I've ever been to, seen, or, or come across. And then I've seen, you know, kind of uh, trainers and facilities at each level, even even in the pro level, you know, we, we We've been in those locker rooms and seen those guys and you know on the road and stuff. And this is definitely the best place to be, uh, and I'm not just saying that. I feel like uh, this facility, Calvary, have saved my career, uh, kind of enhanced my career, and uh, you know continue to help me further my career. Um, so you know, you know, I, you know, I love you guys. So what what type of routines have you had to uh, change or adopt? To, to basically continue to improve and to reduce the chance of injury in the future? Yeah. I think uh, just being more detailed with everything. I think that's, uh, you know, being here, I think that's the, the great thing about being everything, everything's so detailed. And, and uh, you know, you got to do a good job explaining everything to you, to, to us, you know, to who you're working with. You kind of, you understand what you're trying to do and you, you know, just kind of blindfolded and, uh, you know, you'd be surprised that, you know, these, these top universities and, you know, not even speaking of Syracuse, but just in general, you know, how many, uh, that, that lack of connection, the lack of, you know, talking between uh, the, the, two, the two people working, you know, that disconnect and what that can do to your career. So speaking of Syracuse, besides the athletic side, mm -hmm. as a student athlete, what do you find to be your biggest challenges? Uh, definitely managing time, uh, your schoolwork and, uh, and, and basketball, and as well as free time, you know, uh, I think that 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 piece is what people will forget about that that time you you, you need to relax and you know it's kind of rehab not just your body but your mind, you know, just kind of finding time throughout your day to, to do all of that and and as well as get better with your game and stuff. So, you know, just time management. I think uh, if you can coming in the door, if you can conquer that early, you know, you you're miles ahead of the game. So you saw you saw a big jump or a big difference going from high school to college as far as expectations and time management things like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think when I when I changed my day and you know kind of you know got my time together, I think that's when you know my play started to hang it. So what are your plans after college? Uh, play professionally. You know, NBA is the first choice. Uh, you know, but you know go wherever you know this year takes me. You know, I want to finish up this year strong and uh, you know try to play pro ball somewhere. What advice would you give to a young aspiring athlete, somebody who's maybe middle school and, and looks at a player like you and says, that's where I want to be in a few years? Uh, stay patient. And uh, lack of better words, stay down. You know, be patient. You know, don't, don't watch the next player. Don't, you can't pay attention to the, the next man's journey. You know, everybody has a different journey. And it's a lot that you don't know about, that you don't see from, from, from people you look up to in these positions. And, uh, 
you know, the same stuff you're going through, the same stuff that we went through, and you know, guys above me are, going, are still going through. So, you know, just be patient, you know, stay level headed, you know, don't get too high on your highs or, or too low on your lows. So, you, uh, it's been a long journey, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. If you had to do it all over again, would you do it the same way? Definitely, definitely. Uh, looking at my, my journey and kind of comparing it to, to, to other people's and, you know, kind of just, you know, taking a look back at my, my career, you know, I, I feel like I earned a, a lot of, of what, what I have and, you know, it's not, not I, I can hold my hat on that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, whatever happens, you know, I, I hold pride in that, take pride in my career, you know, just, you know I worked hard for it, it wasn't, I wasn't passed along, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I was passed along, so I feel like I worked for it. Well, Franklin, man, I know you're a busy guy. I know you're only in town for a little while. I really appreciate the, appreciate the time, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm here. You know, you guys are the reason I'm where I am today. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.